Gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're finished. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Even the rebound is impressive. Oh boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck billed platypus. Um. Execute order 66. Oh, good God. They call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that silent to me. Whoa. <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it. Oh, you. No, no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. No. No, you don't. I'm so freaking close. And you're. A Damn, ape. Oh, my God. You're so close. First Apex Guild. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Maybe. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next. That's what's fun. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. <laughs> I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot. Nice. Not bad. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! <laughs> so that happened. Hours later. <laughs> oh boy. How am I only now realizing that I can have three active characters? What the hell? <laughs> that was <laughs> Wow. Good job. What the hell was that?
that certainly looks like it's being held by Rebel Scum. Serana. Oh my god. She made me fall through the floor. Oh good. I... I... Serana! Get out of the way. trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the oh shoot not me uh oh uh yeah okay that no that <laughs> that didn't work out quite the way i had hoped it Ahem. oh aloy was it yes the one who cleared the valley for you that aloy we appreciate your service at least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be kept. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Triple kill! Look at that, they're all different. Oh, I love it so much. Important notice, these dogs <laughs> are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. <laughs> I'm really glad they put that in there. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. In honor of Greeny. That went better than I expected. What is going on? What? I'm not sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> Oxygen plants. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, thanks. Got that. I think I'm gonna die again. Oh. I 
I have no idea how to get out of here. I'm so dead. I'm so far down. Ten four. Gotcha. Sucker. Not so fast. There we go. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's, I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Uh. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> you may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom, and the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? He said I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh, I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Hey, this is not the arrangement I have with you guys. When I shoot, you die. That's the deal. I'm going to show you what I've done with Starlight Drive-In. You're out of uniform, sir. Gotcha. Oh, she's not dead. Interesting. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is the personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Nope, 
too fast. Darn. I hope you're not planning on picking my pocket. Uh... That was weird. Yes, I am Locaius, your wolf god, and now you may take my oath. Abandon your humanity, my boy, and be blessed as wolf kind. It feels like coming home. Transformation? Or oaths? Don't be a flapping fool, Timon. Timon kneels and beneath him a green light pools. Dandelions rise yellow out of the sparse wind-scraped dirt. They grow old and white, throw their seeds, then wilt to nothing. The god rock he kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside. A geode of understanding splits and catches light. Beneath the earth and behind his eyes. Timon. I've been Rimworld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my... Oh my god. doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. Uh, Piper. Are you okay? What the heck? Um... So, this is a colossal size map, which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game. And it is a an island plate style, so it's kind of like tectonic plates that are generated as smaller islands instead of giant continents. That looks good to me, sir. Am I being attacked by chickens? There you go. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. This evening we're going to be playing some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 for Strategy Saturday. So let's get into it, shall we? We need to get the game running, uh, which I did not do because I had some trouble when I tried to do that in advance last week. wanted to avoid that. Just gonna get steam going here. Well, oh, I've got steam news. Got a lot of steam news. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there. Okay. Jurassic World Evolution 2. Watch your ears. I don't know if I left the volume turned up when I quit the game last time. If I did, we're going to get that big universal. So it's going to be loud. Potential. There we go. Oh. That's fun. I have the game on speaker instead of headphones.
that's better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know about you folks, but I'm really enjoying having this strategy Saturday, retro Sunday, maker Monday stuff. I thought it was going to make me feel too constrained, but actually it's making me... I'm almost enjoying the games that I play more now. It's a little bit weird. Uh, oh, we don't want to continue my off-stream game. We want... Chaos theory. Oh, okay, that's how that works. Um, we want on stream May 29th at 5:07 a.m. That looks about correct. Winters, how's it going? You're enjoying the themed days. I'm so glad to hear that. I am really surprising myself by how much I'm enjoying it. I think. It's working out really nicely, and I'm hoping that I continue to enjoy it because, uh, you know, I think it will hopefully lead to more consistency in the stream and help the stream grow a bit more, by which I mean, you know, help the stream grow at all, really. Okay, where did we leave off? We had our, okay, my layout for this park is a little bit different than before. We had just had a scripted sabotage incident, if I recall correctly. We had to get that taken care of. We built our T-Rex paddock down here. Speaking of, there is the T-Rex. Excellent. Okay. So what do we need to do now? Jurassic Park. Reach a park rating of five stars. We've got three of five. Hopefully the T-Rex will help with that. We need to increase total dinosaur species to ten at least. And we need to increase the number of guests in the park to 1,500, which we've actually accomplished already. So what we need to do... Um, there's a few things we need to do. I think... We should be able to do this easily before the end of the night and move on to the next Chaos Theory stuff. So what we're going to do is I'm going to check on our staff. Is anybody? You need a rest. Good. Specialist facility. Specialist. Oh, okay. That's handy. That's good. Um... Improved costs. I'm going to see if I can build another staff center. We might hire more people. I want to get more fossils done. I want to increase the number of species that we have available to us. And maybe most importantly, I want to do all the genetic research we have available to us. And that's probably going to take a little bit of time and it's going to cost some money. But with a T-Rex in the park and all that comes with it, we should be able to make that happen. So, we want operations, we want a staff center, oh, we, speaking of research, apparently we need to research that. We need 16 gears. Voidum, how's it going? Have you built this? Have I built what? Have I built this park? Most of it. I mean, this fence over here was mostly pre-provided. So I didn't build that, but almost everything else. We have a dead dino. Let's move them. Yeah, this is a really good game, Voidum. It's really, really fun. Whenever I play these games, it's like a five-year-old drawing his house and family. Well, you get better as you go. It takes practice, right? 
And let's be honest here, some of my construction isn't much better than that either. A lot of it's kind of haphazard, thrown together. Let's see if I can do... Where is my... Oh, wow. Okay. My expedition center's over here in this one. I have it located elsewhere in my other game. Let's improve that species a little bit. No. Oh, uh, well, I mean... I guess I can send all three of them. Okay, that guy's still in treatment for a broken bone. Oh, good. A storm. I'm not sure whether to open the emergency shelters or not, which means I'm probably just going to do it because it's better to be safe. Especially with the T-Rex in the park now. Styracosaurus, I think... Yeah, they belong here. Right, Styracosaurus, I don't want to put them in with the uh, Triceratops. They don't really get along. Okay, let's open all shelters just to be safe. I have a very long path here with no bathrooms, no amenities, and most importantly... No shelters. I'm thinking maybe we ought to do something about that. I'm going to probably throw a couple in. Oh, <laughs> the bathrooms are going to need power. That's going to be fun. That's okay, though. Buildings damaged. Hopefully not the T-Rex paddock. Okay, that's fine. And a hotel? Well, alright. I should get those fixed up, but that's not a crazy important thing. See, fun and excitement at the park. No big deal. Whoop. Ugh. That'll buff out. It's fine. Okay, we have Boba Shop. Everything down here looks okay, which is a huge relief.
Where did I park? I was right here. Oh, I just remembered. We do, in fact, want to mute licensed music. I had that turned off because I've been playing an off-stream game. Just to work the park a little differently. There we go. Come to Jurassic World, see some dinos, have some laughs, get hit by a car. Exactly. Fun for the whole family. Okay. That should help there. And that should be all I need for both bathrooms. At least in theory. That's still being repaired. Alright, let's have a look at our expedition results. Mr. Barton, if you would kindly work on that. Okay, we actually have quite a lot of research done already. Let's get this done, though. So for that, we need one gear and four flasks. Ms. Vasquez should be able to handle that. And we'll do heart and lung muscle strength, for which we need one gear and four flasks. Ms. Uniel can handle that. Perfect. Research complete. Staff improvements three. Three items unlocked. That means I can build another staff center. theory. Okay, it might be time to sabotage my power grid. Oh my god, I had such a long line of power grids. Little wired substations. Okay, all that has to go. We just cut all the power to the raptor fences and the Dilophosaurus fences. But that's okay, they're internal fences only. The guests are perfectly safe. So now what I need is a lot of repeater substations. And they need to be placed so that they take power from something already functioning like that. Okay. 
it's a little close to the other one, but I want to try and make room to build something in here if there's enough space. What did I have here? Did I delete something I wasn't supposed to delete? Oh, crap. Warthog Gaming, how's it going? Hey, Mad, what's going on? I hope you're doing well as well. Sorry, if I'm a little bit into this, I'm redesigning my power grid, which is always interesting. There we go. Except for that. Hang on. I should keep that one, actually. connect these guys. And after that, that should be, I think, pretty good. Mm, nope, not quite. We still need some power here. Warthog Gaming, that is awesome. How did it go? Which version of Final Fantasy VII are you playing? I actually do have a playthrough of the um, Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster games going on. I haven't worked on it in a little bit, but it's been a lot of fun.
The original, not the remastered. Interesting. Okay, what is missing power? Is this just being slow to update? Are we maybe just not producing enough power? Power usage zero of 60. That's definitely not it. Oh, maybe... Increased output... Hmm, I don't know. This is very weird. You need to rest. What the heck is missing power? I don't see anything that's not covered. Hey, Vera Johnson, how are you doing? So how are you enjoying Final Fantasy VII? Is it your first playthrough? Or have you played it before? I've played Final Fantasy VII before. It's a really good one. Oh boy. Must go faster. Must go faster. Yeah, guys might want to get a move on. Uh-oh. <laughs> You've beaten it many times. Gotcha, gotcha. I have played it before, but my next playthrough, which will come sometime after I finish my Pixel Remastered stuff, I'm currently working on four, will be playing the uh, the remake. Oh, I didn't know the T-Rex would feed at this, too. Interesting. I put that there mostly for the copies. My goal this time is getting every character, every ultimate weapon, and every summon materia. Interesting. How's that going? Did you actually succeed, or is that still a work in progress? Okay, seriously, what the heck? Oh, you just got to the world map, so you've got a ways to go then. Maybe if I get rid of that...
I'm going to ignore this for now. Everything seems to be working. I can't figure out why that's being obnoxious. Let's go on another... Oh, oh, it's up here. It wasn't over there. Well, that's easy to fix. I shouldn't need both of those, but it's fine. Let's finish off this one. Faster expeditions, Ms. Maskell, you're up. There we go. Now, I learned something in my other playthrough, my off-stream playthrough. Hang on. You may have seen me assign ranger teams to patrol paddocks. I have learned that you can also assign capture teams. And if you assign capture teams, they will go around and they will tranquilize animals that are being a problem automatically and it's really kind of cool you can also assign the medic vans and all kinds of stuff uh, no not direct control so I'm gonna assign ranger post one ranger post two and this guy here and here. Hey Bob, how's it going? I've finally seen in Fallout my first person V robot of the same person. Ah, uh, yes, that's bound to happen eventually. Now, the unfortunate thing is this is definitely going to mean that the T-Rex is going to spend an awful lot of time tranquilized. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm sure my ranger team will thank me. Yep, that's the one it happens with, Bob. That's a semi-scripted event. I don't know exactly what they use Vera Johnson, but they definitely use something. Okay, where is... I'm going to redo these, actually. Let's get rid of that, that, and that. I'm going to add this and this. And then to minimize risk... We've got this other guy that doesn't have to do anything. We're going to give him that and that. And I'm going to put another gate in. Actually, I might put another couple of gates in. I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to... Actually, that one should be fine. So they don't have to go quite as far to escape. <laughs> it's all or nothing, unfortunately, Bob. You don't get the option to just trank the legs. Yeah, do I have a paleomedical facility here? That's a response facility. 
No, we're going to need an animal hospital. That's a response facility. Down he goes. Now, it's a much faster trank to wake up from than when you go and do them manually. He's going to be down for less than a minute. But there you go. Well, I suppose you could wish. I, for one, am glad that they're putting them completely to sleep. <laughs> Uh, we need the mobile vet unit. We're going to add tasks to him. Now, do I have this guy assigned any? No. That should be all I need for right now. Why are they actually using power? That's obnoxious. They shouldn't need to use power. What a surprise. Bedtime, buddy. Companion hated, oh no. Yeah, you gotta be careful. I actually had a circumstance where I just had, when I was new to the game, I had a hell of a time getting, what's his name? Um, I can never remember his freaking name. The sniper guy. Voiced by Matt Mercer. Anyway, I could never get him to like me. I had a really, really tough time with it. And this was in the days before Critical Role, like it was popular, but it was nowhere near as monstrously popular as it was as it is today. Matt Mercer himself gave me tips over Twitter on how to make what's his name like me. Yes, McCready, that's the one. And that was pretty awesome of him. Now we've got a bunch of fossils. Let's sell these. Mr. Barton, do this task and then we can get you off and doing other things. Like resting. We're going to look at some more genetics. We need one and four, so Uniel, you can do that. We're going to get this. You two can handle that. 
Gonna look at this. Scale and skin toughness. No, we're not. Okay, staff are busy. That's fine. There we go. I love it. I love assigning the vehicles. Alright, now Mr. Barton needed a rest, I believe. But where does one find McCready? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. You will find out naturally over the course of playing the game. Don't you worry about that. You can't really miss him. Temperate skins, two items unlocked. Excellent. Research available, pattern genes two. We need one and four, so you Neil, you can do that. There we go. Drought tolerance, one item unlocked. Desert skins. Maybe not Vasquez. She needs a rest. Oh, I hope that's not Thunder again. Pattern genes too, excellent. Lots of stuff done, excellent. So what we're working on now, all this stuff over here, these and these, these are the cosmetics for the dinosaurs. So making them different colors, different patterns, all that sort of stuff. So I'm about to get the last of the patterns. see if we can do this. Can we? No. Staff busy? Okay. Fair. Maybe 
Instead of that, I can go work on more extraction. We'll see if we can finish up with the uh, Dryosaurus genome. It's got to be really terrifying hearing that without knowing where the T-Rex actually is. Mr. Burton... Is not available, I guess. Okay, we're gonna do that. We have some staff that need resting. No, we want rest, not expedition. Actually, both would be nice. Oh, Mr. Barton is doing research for us. Excellent. There we go. That will be the last of our genetic research that we can do in Jurassic Park. Now, I think there's a lot of content that we can't do in Jurassic Park. So after this, we're a little limited in the types of stuff that we can do and the types of dinosaurs we can apply it to. Once we move on to some of the later challenges, we'll be able to do a lot more. But once we get through all of the genetic research, our next thing will be to increase the number of dig sites that we have access to by researching those. Oh, they had to put Rexy down again. That's fun. New complete genome, Dryosaurus. Very nice. Oh, and these guys too, which I can't pronounce. Also, oh, oh. Styracosaurus, dead of old age. This is one of the reasons why I'm prioritizing the cosmetic stuff. As we replace dying dinosaurs that are just getting too old, we'll be able to create new generations of them with more colorful, varied appearances. I think we've already done some Styracosaurus that are much more colorful, actually. There we go. Tropical skins unlocked. So that's basically this is... Wait, we still have one researchable? Oh, this one, right. 
Scale and skin toughness is still in progress. Okay. So we're working on that. Next is this species. We need to get up on these. We've already got carnivores all done. Those are done. We need to do small, medium, and large herbivores, and we need to do armored herbivores. Stegosaurids. Uh, Mr. Namgung needs a rest. So, okay, he can take care of that. Uniel needs a rest as well. There we go. Good, get it out of here. Make sure that gets to our food amenities. We will need that for the uh, dino burgers. Okay. How's our populations looking? We have a population of 12 copies between two different areas. We have two apatosaurs. I don't even remember creating them. Wow. We have six dilos. We have no dryos. We have none of these. We have no mayas. We have four parasophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophil
Finishing up some D&D in the Iron Kingdoms setting. I don't think I'm familiar with that one. What is Iron Kingdoms? Okay, we are good. Let's see if we can maybe synthesize those guys. Five viable eggs of a batch size of seven with an 82% survival rate. Okay, so we've got one that is, well, all of them are going to be tolerant. That's 100%. But this one's got sonoran desert coloring with the lithobates texturing. Oh, look at this one. This one's nice. Social, tolerant, and resilient with Salar de, del Huasco and lithobates. And then we've got skittish. I'm okay with skittish. And tolerant Champlain Valley with Paparana. Skittish, tolerant, resilient Killian Mountains with Chalcorana. Skittish, tolerant, resilient with Sonoran Desert and Chalcorana. Okay. All of this is fine. We'll do it. Three seconds. Wow. Now, where are we putting these guys? I think they go over here. Heading to pick up the asset. Asset requiring collection. En route to collect the asset. <laughs> Oh, I always do, Borthog. I always do. I've had that for years now. It's kind of medieval steampunk. Oh, I like that. With robots you can order around called Jax and also high fantasy magic, politics, and warfare. That's awesome. Based off a minis-based war game. Adapted to 5e by the creators. You're reading through the Dungeon Master's Guide? Nice, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Super st Did you end up getting the uh, the monster manual, Mr. Soggy Ramen? I'm curious. Super stoked. I've stumbled upon info that I didn't know was a thing, and if, if my thoughts are correct, I may have a way to inject audible sound alerts into my console stream to have a literal full-fledged stream the way PC can without actually needing your laptop at all. Okay, now you've got me curious, CD. What is this technique that you're talking about? Oh, look at the color on this guy. That looks neat. Delivery complete. Transportation underway. Playing a barbarian? Very cool. Oh, look at this one. So very different. Asset delivery confirmed. Transit has commenced. Damon Ra, welcome on in. How's it going? Oh, you're lucky, Warthog. I am... I'm working towards a two PC setup, but I just, I can't afford to build the second PC yet. I, I plan to build a new gaming PC that's going to free this one up to serve as my streaming PC. And the new one's going to be all AM5 technology, but it's going to take a while for that. Partly because there is no AM5 technology yet, but also because, you know, I'm going to need to accumulate the parts and the money for them and all that.
Yeah, a lot of streamers, Damon, what they'll do is they'll have a gaming PC that literally does nothing for the stream except run the game. And then they hook it up to another computer with a v capture card as if the gaming PC were like a PlayStation or an Xbox. So instead of having a monitor on the gaming PC, they just run it into the capture card on the other PC. And that way you don't have the same computer having to run the game and the streaming software and anything else that the streamer needs run at the same time. You don't use a capture card? How do you do it then? I use light stream in combination with Rainmaker. I... Okay, I'm not familiar with either of those things. You'd notice I have overlays for follower and sub goals visible that's done through the Ma Rainmaker overlay on the Rainmaker site. You get a subscription free to Rainmaker with a paid sub to Lightstream. Lightstream also allows the ability for console streamers to use browser sources in their stream. Oh, that's handy. Which is the key to me being able to inject sound alerts. Yes, that should work. I pulled the browser source from the sound alert site. Yeah, yep, that, that ought to do it. You have OB, but OBS running on both. But how does that get the video data from the game into the other computer for streaming and what's the advantage at that point if you have to run OBS on both PCs OBS is fairly processor intensive wouldn't it be better I mean I, I guess the advantage is OBS is free and capture cards are very much not so there's that but most of the reason to use a two PC setup is to free up the streaming PC from having to run OBS or other streaming software, which takes up a lot of your processor power and can reduce performance. On my gaming PC, I have OBS set up to capture my screen and on the laptop, I set up my video source as an, oh, NDI, okay. I have actually played with that a little bit as well. I get it. I get it. That's cool. And if your processors are beefy enough, then you probably don't need to worry about the little bit of uh, overhead from having to run both. What the heck? Why? Damn it. These should not be operating. I don't know why they're having to operate and use up fuel. So that's already got increased output. Maybe I need more than this? I can't possibly need more than this. Unused power 90? That's ridiculous. How can I be using fuel in emergency backup generators and have 90 unused power from my actual power station? That's crazy. Oh, hang on. The OBS on my gaming... Well, yeah, but it still uses a lot of processing power whether you're recording or not. I never record my streams. 
The crazy thing is basically for 12 bucks a month, I'm able to console stream with every ounce of customization that PC streamers have. The only real difference is how I actually set up those customizations works differently, but you have every ability to do so. That's really cool. Okay, now, did that actually work? Nope. Oh, well, this one's using less. But that's still going full bore. What the heck? Power usage 11. I'm... I'm so confused. I'm tempted to just get rid of these. In fact, I'm going to. I can rebuild them. Oh, I get it now. I totally get it. That makes total sense. It's over here that wasn't within the radius, so it was picking up from the backup generators. Ugh. I wish they visualized their power networks better. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this out over there, there, and there, and that should fix it. And then I can rebuild. Oh, this needs something too, actually. It shouldn't. That's weird. That should be okay. Why does that not have power? Let's wait until this is redistributed. I think that should be picking... There we go. Yes. Okay. We're fine. We're good. But now I can rebuild those backup power supplies, and it should be fine. The goal is to have the backup power supplies actually be backup power supplies so that they're only needed when something's wrong with the power distribution network. Not so that they're actually providing power. And yet, they still seem to be providing power, damn it. <sighs> anyway, that's fine. It's actually exciting for all of streaming that console streamers are being shown some love because many people don't have the money or space for a full-on setup. Yep. Believe me, I know. I've been lucky I've had a PC set up my entire streaming career. And in fact, it's only the last few years, it, like late 2019, that I started being able to stream console stuff at all. So I, I, I do get that. Once you're locked into one it can be expensive to try and expand into another one. Uh, oh, Barton, you need a break. Speaking of breaks, I need a break as well. Let's get this researched. Or at least started, and... You only do PC games? I do a mix of both. Sometimes I do basically everything I stream is console. A lot of the time, everything I stream is PC. Right now, most of the stuff that I'm currently streaming is PC. But I'm going to go take a quick break. So if you folks don't mind, I'm going to get up. I usually like to take a three and a half to five minute break every hour or so. Uh, if you need to get up yourself and get some food or a drink, grab a snack, whatever you need to do, this is a really good opportunity to do it. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Oxygen. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> First death. Oh, no. 
Whoops. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. I, um, I can't help but notice that this might be a little bit bugged because in spite of the fact that she's standing there and talked to us, the game does seem to think that Barth here is dead. Now she is no longer dead. She's also called Ramira. He dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder than the first game. Okay, that didn't help as much as I was hoping it might. <laughs> Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. Uh-oh. God, that was... I like that. <laughs> uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> nice. history of evolution has taught us it's that life uh finds a way i know i know i just i often forget but i do know thank you of course sir i wasn't talking to you well who else could you be talking to should i be concerned about your mental well-being commander Dropped out of a plane, but at least the reactor's disabled. I've been Rimworld, so yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my, oh my God!
that's impressive though. I like that. Oh boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck build platypus. Um. Execute order 66. Oh, good God. Whoops. Boom Boom is down. What the hell? Whoops. Sorry, Boom Boom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, boom, boom. Uh, we're going to be taking our first look. Okay, I'm back. Let's get the game going again. I forgot about that. This game is kind of a beast. This is one of the games that would make me want to get a second PC set up. Now, where's our settings? There we are. Thank you, Mad. Oh, I love Kerbal. I love Kerbal. It's so much fun. That's one that will pop up from time to time on Maker Mondays. And possibly anything goes Thursdays and Fridays. All right. So we're still researching. What do we have on the go? Ah, we've already got that one in progress. Good. How about sauropods too? I'm not sure we can really do that one right now. Mr. Barton here needs a rest. And I don't think we've got enough expertise beyond him. Oh, but you know what we do have? The ability to build another staff thingy and probably train people up better. Now, I have never modded Kerbal. I don't really feel the need. I'm not familiar enough yet with how Kerbal works that I have wanted to mod it up. Mostly, I just mess around with it and take pride in the fact that during one game a few years back, I launched a rocket with the intention of seeing if I had enough power to finally break out of Kerbin's atmosphere. I crashed that thing into the moon. Turns out I had enough power. Okay, you need resting. And we need to recruit more scientists. You had a Kerbal jump out of a ship at warp speed? Oh my god, what happened? 
That's amazing. Oh my god, look at you. Andrea Espinoza, get on my team. And five in genetics. Omira Hashim. Yeah, I think we need her. Look at that. Seven logistics. Holy crap. And a logistics specialist at that. Damn. You never saw him again. Oh my god. That's scary, Warthog. That's amazing. You've tried the Far Harbor DLC, right? For Fallout 4, because the harpoon gun is so good. I hate the harpoon gun. It's terrible for me. Your mileage may vary. Generalist. Looks like he veers a little more towards welfare, so we're going to bump up his welfare. And we'll max that out. You're busy. Sarwar, Mr. Patrick Sarwar. Let's... You're already maxed out on logistics. Get you some genetics. Go Masta. Let's see. Max out your welfare, and that leaves you two more points, so let's maybe do one in genetics and one in logistics. I guess that fully maxes you out entirely. Mr. Taipa. Maskell. Kerbal's always fun. I really enjoy it, Warthog. Just testing it on Diamond City? What do you mean? So this monster manual has an entry for ponies. Yes, it will. It's not just monsters. It's anything that's not a sentient race. Actually, that's not even true. It has entries for sentient races as well. So it's basically any creature. Espinoza. Nine logistics. Holy crap. Love it. And then our massive nine in genetics. Good. Okay. That's going to help so much. How much damage it can do to human NPCs? Wouldn't it be better to do that on raiders? That's what they exist for. Okay, we need 12 and 3. Ms. Hashim and Ms. Espinoza. They're going to handle this like a champ. It would be, but you saved first. Okay. I really do need to start another Fallout 4 playthrough at some point soon. I missed the legendary weapons and stuff in that. We could probably... Oh, oh. Let me guess. Oh, uh, yes. T-Rex. Hey, Sketchy. How are you doing? Okay, that's on the go. 
Stegosaurids too. Oh, Vasquez, you need a rest. Uniel and that'll work. That'll do it. Staff center cost, speed, specialist facility. Globally increases the value of specialist traits by one. Like that. So Ms. Espinosa is now up to 10 logistics. They have Mastiffs, but not any Pugs, Yorkies, Poodles, or German Shepherds. Yeah, for some reason, people in D&D worlds don't really tend to spend a lot of time breeding those different races. Unless the DM says they do, in which case, go for it. No problem. You can just make your own stats for that. Or look them up online, I'm sure people have them. Okay, what do we need? Nine logistics? Easy. Also, uh, which Fallout protagonist do you think would win in a fight? Brotherhood of Steel? That depends on which Fallout game you're talking about. If it's Fallout 4, I would be opposing the Brotherhood of Steel at every turn, so they would definitely not win. They would be slaughtered, which is typically what happens in my games. The Institute would win, hands down, every time. I'll wait till our expedition person's freed up. Prota oh, protagonist, not faction. Okay. Uh, win at what? Dance off, singing competition, talent show, beauty pageant. Combat survival? Ah, but that's such a boring contest. Probably the sole survivor, since uh, the sole survivor... Well, the guy, anyway, was ex-military. and had proper training on how to use all that stuff. Do we still not have our expedition folk? What the heck? Hatchery upgrades too. There we go. Ms. Maskell, you're up. Oh, wow. She can't. Espinosa can go with her. I saw a YouTube short on questioning who would win, and the person doubted the sole survivor being more inclined to another. The biggest question is what would happen when the East and West Coast Brotherhood and Steel came into conflict with each other? If there's any luck and or justice in the world, they would battle each other to the last man and the Brotherhood of Steel would be rendered inoperable. Oh, 
Oh, the Dilos are acting up this time. Interesting. Oh. Oh, another. Oh, the compies are starting to go. That's unfortunate. Let's maybe do another batch of them. Are we done with the compies? Where are the compies? Okay, random skin and pattern color per egg. Good. And it does kind of look like we've got... Yeah, okay. Can I... Nope, all modifications applied. I'd say the courier, especially after becoming a cyborg, plus the courier got shot in the head and brushed it off, sort of. I'm not sure brushed it off is the right term. I'm probably not really qualified to speak to the courier as a character, though. I don't know New Vegas very well, because honestly, I didn't enjoy it very much. It's one of my least favorite Fallout games. Oh, we have some really nice variation in the colors here. Have to try Fallout 3, only played New Vegas and 4. I like Fallout 3 and 4 a lot. And one is pretty fun as well, though I've never actually finished it. En route to pick up the asset. Asset requiring collection. Heading to collect the asset. Asset to be collected. Picking up asset. Confirming task. That's a lot of dinosaurs. We finally got it. Even my other park, I didn't have 50 dinosaurs. So that's fun. I played 4 so many times, and whenever I think about going Brotherhood of Steel or Institute, you always destroy both. I keep hoping and hoping and hoping and hoping that when they eventually do a Fallout 5, the Institute ending, when you side with the Institute, I want that to be the canon ending. I love siding with the Institute. They're so good. Let's check out our fossil collection here. Mr. Barton. I've seen a vid that said the courier had like 30 years experience in the post-war world while the Lone Wanderer survivor were sheltered most of their lives. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that is, Bob. Survivor was asleep for 210 years and has only been out for, what, a few months? Now, like five minutes when you start the game. But they have military training. If you choose the guy anyway. I admit it makes a little less sense if you go with the the uh, the female version. If only because she was a, what, a lawyer or something. Okay, we need three gears and twelve flasks. Easy peasy. Let's 
And for this one, we need five... Ooh, 18 flasks. I think we're going to have to wait on that one. That'll be easy, but we need more of our staff. I believe Nora's correct, Mr. Soggy Ramen, but I'm not sure about the guy's name. They're not that specific, Warthog, but he was definitely not a secretary. He was a soldier. Asset has been delivered. Ah. Uh, Rip Struthium I miss number six. There is not sketchy. Hell, you can't even cross the bridge, let alone fail to go into the vault. Ms. Maskell and Ms. Espinoza. Asset transportation in progress. Asset delivery confirmed. Oh, crap. Please do not infect the food source. Have fun, Bob. Yeah, that's about right, Sketchy. You have to reload or restart. Your choice. Okay. Last species research. Oop. Asset has been collected. The guy I gave a nuke to cola to never stops talking to me. Thanks every time you walk past. Yep. Always safe before you do something stupid. Very good advice.
Missing water? What are you talking about missing water? Why have you... Oh my god. Rexy, what the hell? How did you lose territory? This is part of your territory. Alright, fine. I had moved the feeder. The goats are mobile, so this may not help a whole lot, but we're putting it back here. Might encourage Rexy to come back down here and realize that there's plenty of water. Yeah, but it's not enough water. It's not just that there is water. There has to be enough for their preferences. Okay, let's see here. This way. No, no. Other way. Rexy, no. Other way. Oh my god. Well, that's gotta add some excitement to your day. Yeah, well, that's what they're paid to do, you know. Someone's got to do it. Might as well be them. What else have we got going on? Uh, sauropods 3. Just trank him and move him near the water? Yeah, I guess so. I could do that. I, I'm not certain that would actually make him expand his territory, though. The Commonwealth gets more dangerous the closer you get to Fallout 76. Yeah, I guess so. Mind you, it's also been a few hundred years since Fallout 76. It's already tranked. We'll give it a shot. Maybe it'll work. Trolls. 
Wait, why are the compies lonely? What the heck? Okay, we're gonna need some more of them for here, too. Oh, we have a bunch of people that need breaks. Eight flasks, easy peasy. Roughly speaking, yes, Tradesman Bub. Actually, about 20 years after that, but, you know, in the overall timeline of the Fallout universe, that's roughly comparable. Fallout 76 occurs about 20 years after the bombs fall. Asset transportation in progress. Okay. Skittish, skittish, skittish. Nocturnal. Social and resilient. Resilient. Nocturnal, resilient, and long-lived. Skittish, tolerant, and nocturnal. A lot of nocturnal copies. Tolerant, resilient, long-lived. Strong, skittish, and social. Tolerant, resilient, and long lived. Nate had only been on ice for fifteen years when seventy six opened. Twenty years. People of 76 are most likely long dead or ghoulified by the time I fall out 3. Yes. That's correct. En route to collect the asset. Heading to pick up the asset. En route to pick up the asset. Task received. Setting additional task. Missing forest, my god. This dino. Commencing asset transit. So needy. Transported. 
Oh. <laughs> I was wondering why it stopped. Asset. It's been tranked again. Fair enough. Okay, I guess let's get some expeditions going on. storms attention all personnel please proceed to cover and remain there until the next sides Okay. Ooh, very nice. Oh, <laughs> okay, this is going to be fun. That's an internal fence between the Velociraptors and the Dilophosaurus. So, good luck with that, you two. Luckily, nobody is actually at risk of that. So, cool. Where are you getting 25 years from? He was on ice for 200 years, or pretty close to it. I am very confused about your timeline. Oh, you're talking... Okay. I get it now. You're talking about Fallout 76. That's okay. It's very easy to do while I'm busy streaming and trying to deal with an emergency in the park. Attention all. 
all personnel. The hurricane is starting to pass. Please resume your working activities. Okay, what's broken? Requires power. Requires power. What's... That's broken. Repeater substation. This is out of fuel. Which should not matter. Except this is an emergency, so technically that should actually... Be working. And we've got... Okay, another repeater substation is broken. Oh, that's the mobile vet unit. I don't need that. Out of the way. Coming through. Major injury from the storm. Now, do we have... I need a helicopter. Who are you? Clearly not somebody that I can select. Ah, okay. Well, the icon is a broken bone, and sometimes it is a broken bone. But it really just means a major injury of some kind. I'm so glad I don't have to do this anymore. Doctor. Oh, we've got lots to choose from. Mr. Tapia. En route to collect the asset. <laughs> Delivery has um I 
Like in this case, it's a major injury. I believe it said injured concussion. So we have to we have to get him tranked and transported to a med facility. I'll use the Tyrannosaurus one because now I don't have any need to wait anymore. Go. Assets being transported. There's generally a cause. They'll go into more detail after they've been checked out by the vet squad. But, you know, there's a limit to how detailed it gets. Uh, see, I'm the opposite. I have not had a single person eaten by a dinosaur yet in this park. I've had dinos eaten by other dinos in the park, but I have not yet had people eaten by dinos. Ah, uh, crap. Asset delivery confirmed. It's kind of expensive, but fewer lawyers get involved. So yeah, it's the better choice. Asset transportation in progress. Save money on the extra legal fees, exactly. Oh, hang on, copy's done. Kinda gotta take care of that right away, otherwise there's a very Asset real possibility that I'll just forget and leave the copy on the medical bay for ages. Alright, okay, we need more fossils. Camarasaurus, I have no idea what that one's like, so we're gonna do that. Let's get Ms. Maskell out. And we'll see what those are all about. Transportation underway. Uh, the T-Rex keeps shifting its terrain. I might have made the enclosure a little too large. I'm not sure where it's hanging out right now. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. He's expanded his territory down here and he's content again. That's good. Hmm. 
Raptors go here. Acknowledging asset collection request. Oh, they're a sauropod. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to use Mr. Barton. He needs a little bit of a break. Stegosaurus. We can get some of that. Oh, I don't think that's true, Chris, uh, CD. I think you can have more than one. Asset has been collected. Hey, Shark, how's it going? It's good to see you. Mind you, I haven't tried putting two in a single enclosure yet. Well, not as far as I'm aware. Now, it might be risky putting them in with some other types of dinosaurs. But even then, putting them in with, you know, I've got them in with a bunch of copies and that's fine. They're not really all that interested in the copies. They're too small. Okay, let's see. Now let's have a look at these Camarasaurus guys. these ones. Okay, so I don't have a viable genome yet. They like forest, tall leaf, tall nut, water, a minimum population of one. They like ornithomimosaurids. They like cer ceratopsids, ankylosaurids, hadrosaurids, pachycephalosaurids, stegosaurids. They don't like sauropods or indominus rex. Only one way to find out. Add a second T-Rex to the enclosure. Honestly, I'm pretty tempted. I might do that. I, I might very well do that. Sadly, we can't use skin colors and texture mods on the T-Rex. Not yet, anyway. I assume we'll be able to later. Uh, it looks like we've already done about all we can to them, unless I want to make them different. Let's do... Actually, we're going to have to wait. Too many of our top mines are already otherwise occupied. New viable genome, Stegosaurus. Excellent. Let's have a look at them. 
They like forest, ground fruit. Oh, I don't think I've seen ground fruit before. Interesting. Water and ground fiber. They have a minimum population of four. They like compies. They like sauropods. They like ornithomimosaurids, hadrosaurids, and pachycephalosaurids. They dislike carnivores, ceratopsids, ankylosaurids, and stegosaurids. Okay. And this is kind of another headline creature, so we're stuck with the 1997 skin color and whatnot. Um, let's improve. Ooh, you're cute. Oh, geez. Okay. I'm not actually going to bother. Um, we'll work on them more when we get more of their genome. You can do more modifications when the genome is complete. Diplodocus. Brachiosaurus and more Camarasaurus. Stegosaurus, there we are. Ms. Espinosa needs a break. Rest some of these other ones as well, just for the sake of it. Hey, Space Vikings, how you doing? 14 days, 17 hours. Wow, Vikings. Thank you for all the support. Not bad, Bob. And that's a pretty good start already, War Dog. That's pretty nice. Alright, I'm a little bit late for a break. I should probably do that. I'm going to save, because I'm going to have to restart the game again. But that's okay. Let's just overwrite this. So I will be back in a few minutes, folks. I like to get up every hour or so, move around a little bit, keep the circulation going, etc., etc. So if you need to get up yourself, grab a drink or a snack, get some food, whatever you need to do, this is a really good opportunity to do it. And I will meet you back here in about three and a half to five minutes or so. The uh, 16-9 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Gotcha. Okay, Othgird, I'm going to need you to be real careful here. No. Try and warn them. Sock puppet hounds. Right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry, bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. That's it? Not even one star? I just brought you a damn antimatter bomb on my back, people. Wow. See what I mean? Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. 
Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> by now the only thing keeping this apart and not a prehistoric hunting ground are the fences let's see what we can do to improve it <laughs> nice Bastila is a frickin' lifesaver. <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> Could you keep that down, please? You're making it hard to aim. Thank you. Actually working tonight, but I'll leave a lurk. Probably be back later. No worries, Scott. Thank you so much again. It's really, really kind of you to recommend us like that. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. That was... Ooh. Um. Thanks, Auto Drive. Crap, it's actually literally not going anywhere. Oh, okay. We're good. Just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the oh shoot not me uh oh uh yeah okay that no that <laughs> that didn't work out quite the way i had hoped it i haven't had prime rim in a while i think i should see if i can possibly make that happen at some point Okay, I am back. Nuking a room with your pipe pistol is hilarious. Nice. Thank you, Instara. Thank you, Bob. All right. Thank you, Mad. Watch your ears, folks. We've got Universal coming up again. It is pretty good. It feels very cinematic for obvious reasons. This is making me really want to read the first book again. And watch the movie.
getting copyright struck for that intro music, I think it's too short. I'm not sure that you could. Now, I'm wondering if maybe I could get away with putting Stegosaurus in here. What guys do I already have in here? How are you guys doing on the cohabitation front? 19%, it looks like there's a little more room. Might be able to get away with it. Might contribute to it, CD. Hey, Jessica, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Okay. Could look elsewhere in the world. I don't such a mimus. They're a fun one. More stegosaurus over this way. Actually, maybe not her. I'll send those two. She needs a break. Doing nice. You see a little brain off now. I did two trials on ESO, a 12-player content that's a little more difficult. Ooh, that sounds exhausting. I hope you're doing okay. So I spent 20 rounds on one hand and four on the other. Four other one broke off and the first one didn't. I... I'm not sure what to make of that. What happened? Okay, we have a bunch of resting scientists coming back yeah. online right now. And fossil extraction complete. 71% on the Stegosaur. Okay, so we can improve their tolerance and their fitness. Let's see. Oh, nope. That's all we can do until we 100% it, I think. All right. Ah, got it, Bob. Mr. Barton. Now, I think I might actually do another T Rex.
Just too many mechanics and very chaotic, but the group was amazing. Everyone was nice and they work very well. Oh, that's awesome, Jessica. That is not so bad at all. Shot one arm with 20 rounds in the hand, then the other four rounds. The first one didn't break till after the second did. Hey, that's randomness for you. Oh, God, they're both. I hate to do it, but I think I've got to get rid of them. Ugh. Can I do any more modifications to the T-Rex, maybe? All modifications applied, huh? the aggressiveness I'll just do that I wonder if T-Rex is maybe just automatically aggressive. Oh crap, another copy. Collecting asset. Synthesis complete. Oh god, yeah, oh, Oof. yeah, yeah. How's our current T-Rex looking? Where is our current T-Rex? Oh. No traits manifested. So I can get T-Rexes that have no aggressive trait. I'm blowing through money like no one's business, but I think I'm going to have to get rid of these as well. Let's try one more time. I don't want aggressive T-Rexes, though. I mean, we're having enough trouble with the non-aggressive T-Rex as it is.
unlikely, Bob. I'm sure he'll turn up. I'm sure he will turn up. You might have to go check your various settlements and see if he's gone back to one of them. But in the off chance that it actually did get rid of Codsworth, you should be able to use console commands to respawn him. Ah, look at this. Nocturnal. Tolerant and nocturnal. I don't have enough money. We'll have to wait. Need a few minutes to make up the, the cost. We'll have three T-Rexes all in the same enclosure. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, JH, how's it going? He may have gone back to one of your settlements. It's very unlikely that he got deleted. How are things going, J.H.? It's good to see you. I hope all is well. Okay, I don't actually do this very often, but I'm going to run the game a little faster so that we get the money quicker. Ninety five percent. Oh, my God. So, what I need thirty five, thirty five. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit, but we're making pretty decent money here. We should be able to make that up. Hopefully that's the last. That might get us to 100%. Oh god, what just cost... Was that filling up the generator that cost all that money? Wow. Oh, and now this guy too. Low health. Why is health so bad? Another dead copy. Wow. I 
asset transportation in progress. You have to go out today and don't want to go? Uh, I hate days like that. I'm sorry, JH. What do you have to do? I've assumed Dino Burgers. But I'm probably mistaken. Now, did we ever actually get to 100% on Stegosaurus? No! Oh my god. We have to do a whole new expedition to get the last 2%. Rude. Oh, got it, JH, yeah. Still just want to relax at home? Yeah, that's understandable. Arc rating and profit has not changed this month. Yeah, yeah, everybody does, Warthog. Another Struthiomimus. En route to collect the asset. Oh, I think we can afford it now. I mean, I don't want to completely leave us bankrupt. There we go. That'll leave me a little money. In addition to having to visit outside, it's always so sad to see you're so badly forgetting everything, including mistaking who you are. Yeah. Working on getting your VA disability up to 100%, right now you're only at 40, plus you're applying for disability. I will keep my fingers crossed for you, if that would be a good thing. There we go. It sucks being that broken at 45, yeah. Hopefully they'll be able to help them. There you are.
Okay. I think we're going to do the release here so that we get the visual of it. Then I'm going to have to trank them and take them over to the other pen. There we go. Uh, where's our hella chopper? Capture team, yes. Well, we're good so far. We'll see how they do. I can't figure out why the compies over here are low health. Acknowledging asset collection request. I don't think so. I mean, I can't imagine why. Transit has commenced. Uh oh. Parasaurs. Okay. Lonely. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that. Let's see if we have enough money to make another batch of those guys. Okay, they're at 100%. What else can we do? Four seconds. Tolerant, long-lived. Social, long-lived. Tolerant and long-lived. And I can't quite afford it. We'll have to wait a little bit before we hatch them. And there go the flying T-Rexes. Oh, good, Bob. Yeah, it's just because I've been going really heavy on all the research and expeditions and everything. It'll be fine.
Another one? Oh my god. Um... What's with the sudden musical cue? That makes me think something dramatic just happened. <clears throat> no, the T-Rex enclosure does not need more forest. The T-Rexes in the enclosure need to get off their asses and move around to discover the plenty of forest that's already there. Okay, we can easily afford these guys now, so let's select our eggs. We have social, long-lived, tolerant and long-lived, tolerant and long-lived again. We're going to go with all four. We're going to use these two, and that's, yeah, that's plenty. So we'll get that going. That'll take less than 10 seconds. And we'll just release these guys by airlift into their home up this way. Asset requiring collection. Huh, maybe it actually does need more forest. Never mind then. That's kind of weird. How close are they on the forest? Pretty darn close. Oh, and they need more prey too. That's fine, we can take care of that. There we go, content. Asset has been transported. What the heck is wrong with these guys? Is something wrong with the...
Greeny, how you doing? It's good to see you. My copy's not very well. I'm constrained by money. I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. <laughs> oh, it's already taken care of. Oh, you're talking about the compies? Oh, that... It's not a terrible idea. I think they're fine with it as it is, but... I might be wrong about that. Crap, another Velociraptor just kicked it. What's our Velociraptor population at? I'm not sure I can actually afford to replace too many of them right now. Oh, damn it. I have to. We only have two Raptors left. Crap, that's below the minimum. We'll synthesize them at least. Completed. Okay, we're not using the aggressive one. Yeah, we need money. Crap. Underway. Serves you right, buddy. Deliver to facility. It's my first T Rex injury. I can't afford it. Oh, God. Well, at least the money is going up relatively fast. We'll be able to get the new uh, treatment for the T-Rex pretty quickly. If you guys could go and get this guy sedated, that would be fantastic.
Oh, and Mr. Hashim, I somehow accidentally worked him too much. Just need to give him a break before something awful happens. What? Oh god. I <laughs> Oh my god. I I have generators running out. I have dinosaurs that need transport. I have scientists that need rest and the money's just not coming in quick enough. I thought we were going to be done with Jurassic Park tonight. Ah, the tranquilizing only makes them mad, I'm sure. Transportation complete. Okay, I think we have enough to rest the staff now. I think it's more that it costs time for the mo money for the time that they spend, you know? You're not actually paying them directly to sleep. It's the costs associated with having them not actually work. Transit has commenced. Chaos. Where do you get that from, Greedy? I mean, maybe when I'm playing GTA or something, but that's about it. I don't think we're going to be able to meet the requirements until we get that 10th species in. So I'm going to have to try and not have critical expenses until we can get something moved in somewhere. How about neutrality? Neutrality fits me much better. Guests want more shopping amenities. Of course they do. Yeah, I guess there's really not much down here, is there? How much are these going to cost? Only 45k. I can do that. Thirty-two, thirty-two. Oh wow, luxury is the highest. I haven't seen that before. And we'll go action figures, and we'll do an aquarium. We'll do. We need something for the generals, so we'll do an entertainer. And actually, that should be fine for now.
I don't have the discipline to be a monk. Alright, now let's customize this. That doesn't look at all right. Wood with stairs works. Middle's fine. Thatch is okay. I like that. That's good. And there. That works. That's true, that's true. The Cobalt Cell would be pretty good. If you're talking playing a D&D &D character, then yes, monks are pretty awesome and I like them. But for actually, you know, a personal occupation, monk, nope. That's not going to work for me. Ah, T-Rex 2 became the alpha. What traits does T-Rex 2 have? Nocturnal. Okay, we're starting to build up our cash reserve again a little bit. May have gotten SnowRunner in a sale. So far, I'm liking driving around in it. Even if you're stuck again. Well, that's basically what SnowRunner's about, right? Getting stuck. The thing I really regret about this particular mission is that I can't build a monorail to get people around better. At least I don't think I can. Let's check out research. No, that's just more guest attractions modules. No such luck. Okay. Can I afford to fill this up again? Oh god. I need one and a quarter million. A meatier game than the previous ones? Ultra always made it look really fun. I don't have Snow Runner, I have Mud Runner. And I kind of, uh, I, I tried Mud Runner, Not on stream, I tried it off stream. And I kind of noped right out of that. Okay, I think the Rexes are a lot happier now that they've got several people maintaining their much larger territory. And by people, I mean Rexes. Probably love the vehicles they get to mess with. Maybe. I could always do one of these other small ones, like maybe the Dryasaurus. Let's 
Let's see if they're cheaper. I don't think I've done anything to their genome, so they'll probably be cheap. That would at least let me get the 10 species that I need. Incubation. Actually, I don't really... I'll use you. I'm not going to use him. He needs a break. Not sure where I'm going to put these guys, though. Water, open space, ground leaf, ground fiber, security. See, I'm kind of tempted to put them in over here. But if I do that, these guys, I think, are small enough that they would be easy prey for the compies. It also has seasons, so more money needed to get everything. Yeah. I could put them in with the Rexes and stuff, too. Because they are so small, I doubt they'd be a, you know, a big issue. On route to collect the asset. Collecting asset. We'll find out, won't we? Naturally, JH, I would expect no less. Now, what are the Dryasauruses like? I probably should have looked at that before I put them in the T-Rex pen. They need ground fiber, ground leaf, open space, water, and a minimum population of three. They like sauropods, ankylosaurids, stegosaurids, and don't like Dr. Wu hybrids. So that's encouraging. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. These guys here, the Dryasaurus. It's possible, Warthog. You gotta do something, though. But these guys... Oh, I just realized there were compies in this pen, too. Oh, well. <laughs> I think they're more likely to end up compie prey than T-Rex prey, to be honest. These guys, the, the Dryosauruses, they're really tiny. They're bigger than the compies, but not by much. They're small enough that I doubt the Rexes will have any interest in them as prey. Asset has been collected. Okay, in the meantime, I might as well get some of the ground fiber and ground stuff in place. Well, we were up to 10 species now. That's a plus.
Yeah, look at these little guys. Oh, they're bigger than I thought they were, actually. That could be interesting. <laughs> Okay, they could actually end up as T-Rex snacks. I guess we'll find out. I really thought these guys were a lot smaller. Well, they're content. We'll see how long that lasts. I, I thought they were a lot smaller than that. This could be problematic. Well, the money's going up quicker now. Let's see about maybe getting some food and drink in here. Oh, I didn't want shopping. We're going to do food. Not bento sushi either, because we've got mostly general and eco. We'll do dal. I have no idea what that is, but we'll do it. Do an aquarium. Do an entertainer. And maybe an ice cream parlor. That sounds delicious. Okay. No power source. We will have to fix that. Okay, for this one, I'm inclined to go coffee myself, always. I guess we will go boba. Uh, you know, there's got to be something better than boba, right? I want more variety in my options here, is what I need. We'll go ginger beer. And then one more for the greenies. Charity boxes.
Okay, that should work. Ginger beer is very similar to root beer, J.H. It's not alcoholic. It's a soft drink. It tastes a lot like ginger ale, but it's a lot stronger flavored. Why is that not powered? What the heck? Is it haggis? I've never had it with alcohol. That's interesting. Okay, so that's still going. Transportation underway. <laughs> Damn it. Hunt in progress. T. Rexy Sexy has begun to hunt down one of the Dryasauruses. Oh, God. Yep, four out of five stars. Let's. T Rex two and three. Where's Rexy? Problem with all these trees is you can't find the damn dinosaurs. Aha. Uh -huh. Dryasaurus 1, hunted down by T. Rexy Sexy. Okay, so these are very expensive dino snacks, is what we're gathering from this then. No, there's. Yes, there is a problem with trees. They hide visibility of the T. Rexes. Bad, evil trees. T. Dexy, wow. Yeah, I probably can. I probably can. I am curious, though. What did that do to this one's stats? Fight record. Lost one. Killed one. Scars one. Dominance 114. Attack 109. Defense 30. Base dominance 139. Stamina is 82%. Level zero infamy. I guess they don't get a lot of infamy for killing notoriously weak herbivores. Okay. Okay. 
I don't remember how many Dryasaurs we had. I'll move them in with the Parasaurs. Oh, that's the... Okay. I want this Hello Chopper. No, that Hello Chopper. Asset has been collected. I'm a little concerned about the other copy pen because it's already got several species of dinosaurs in it. It's going to get overcrowded pretty soon. No, you did not, Greeny. That's pretty cool. How did that happen? There we are. Yeah, we're going to need to set this environment up too. We need fiber and we need this stuff. Hopefully that'll be fine. <clears throat> a bar, if you will, it is a bar. Like a piece of furniture that was built to be an outside bar, a place to sit and such. Okay. Gotcha. Apparently some robins built a nest between it and your outside wall. Fair. Oh no. Triceratops 4. Request. Hey, we're getting the money up there. We can almost afford those new raptors. Cohabitation looks fine. Area, well, we'll know better once they figure out their territory. Food looks good, though. Food is fine. 
I'm not too worried about the rest. Maybe open space might be an issue, but I can always make their enclosure bigger. Water's good, excellent. Open space is looking better. Population is now fixed. Perfect. Ah. Ah! Yay. Okay. That's going to work much better. Noted for the future. Don't put them in with the T-Rexes. Unless you're really looking to treat the T-Rexes. Okay, we can definitely afford these raptors now. Oh god, we have all these people that need breaks badly. We will uh we, we will uh we will incubate the raptors after we rest the scientists. We don't need any more sabotage incidents. There we go. As I walked up on Thursday after lunch with Dad and store stuff, I stepped up onto the porch. It is wood and see something hopping towards me. It's a young robin. Better than a raptor. You don't want to see a raptor hopping towards you. Oh, because it has a negative trait, J.H. But that's okay. It just means it's aggressive. But they have no other species in there with them, so it won't be that big a deal. I worry about that more when it's a shared space with multiple species. But the raptors, they're not getting put in with other species. No. <laughs> well, okay, fair, but only if you're Chris Pratt. Okay, how's our rating looking? Appeal, 166%. Guests, lots. Ticket sales, lots. Amenities, 57 of 57. Dinosaurs visible. Maybe I need more entertainment. I can do that. I got lots of space around here. And sort of a captive audience heading for the T-Rex. So we're going to do... I probably can't... Oh, actually, maybe I can. Ah! Nice! Plus 22%. Excellent. Guest attraction. We're going to do... What are we going to do? Movie theater. We've already done the movie theater. Arcade. And fossil zone. Gym. Gym might be good for this location, actually. Yeah, I think the gym is going to work the best. We're going to build a gym. Jurassic Park, wooden, large entrance style in the middle. Alistrad with plants, large planters and trees, and gym signage. Perfect. Oh, thank you, Bill.
Ugh, thank you. And I could use the hydration too. And raise the desk. Okay, well, I actually have to take a break in a few minutes. So what I'll do is I'll raise the desk during the break. And when I come back, I'll stand for a while. How are you doing, Bill? It's good to see you. Wellness time, good. Ugh. I just want to see this gym built. There we are. Okay, oh, and it looks like our staff are done, so we can get these guys going, too. So we need faster incubation, faster incubation, and that should be good. I'd actually like to be at my desk, but I have no chair, so there is that. Yeah, it helps. Unless... You have a standing desk, in which case it's really not that big a problem, but that requires some planning. Heading to pick up the asset. Okay, now that we've got that set up, let me save. Because I have to quit the game again. And I will be back in a few minutes, folks. I have one desk and two chairs. Your desk is too heavy to raise. Well, about December, January, I got a standing desk, so you'll see what it's like when I get back. I'm going to go take my break now. So I like to get up every hour or so, move around a little bit, uh, all that good stuff, keep the circulation going. I'm usually about three and a half to five minutes. If you guys need to go grab some food or a drink or whatever, this is a really good opportunity to do it. And I'll meet you back here then. And this is exactly... <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. What? No! 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 Ah! That's so rude. They oh. Rift tank. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. Oh. Well, <laughs> I wanted to take out the billboard. That was not quite how I saw myself doing it. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Whoops. 
Boom Boom is down, what the hell? Whoops. Sorry, Boom Boom. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Boom Boom. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Maybe. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next. That's what's fun. All right, guys, you ready? Nice. Frost salts. Wow, that was easy. Oh. And, yeah. I'm just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the... Oh, shoot. Not me. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, okay. That, no, that... <laughs> that didn't work out quite the way I had hoped it. Um, I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that, Haggis. That is why I use it. Not all of my clips use it. You'll find some of the earliest clips that I ever made and subtitled myself. They still use uh, the more blocky font that I use in a lot of my paneling and stuff. But I'm gradually over time going back and redoing most of those older ones. So hopefully I'll get them all caught up at some point. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, JH. What font to use? It is Open Dyslexic. I'm not dyslexic myself, but I know there are quite a number of people on Twitch who are, and so I like to make it a little bit easier on them. Thank you, Haggis. Now that you have a beefier PC, we should try a replay of the 10K Chipmunk Rain. Oh, God. Uh, well, we can't really do that because I took all of the mods out of RimWorld and then I started going and putting mods back into RimWorld and then I broke RimWorld again. I'm working on it, but it's going to be a bit. <laughs> oh, there was definitely more than one, I guess. There was... The gifted platypus that became a meme, and then because of the gifted platypus, somebody gifted a hundred platypus. And then after the hundred gifted platypus, it had to escalate. So instead of platypus, somebody gifted 10,000 frickin' chipmunks and very nearly ended the stream. Transporting asset. All right, let's have a look at our amenity coverage here. Uh, they do want more shopping, don't they? 
Well, we have an attraction right here. Why don't I put some more shopping in here? I'll just make a little plaza-like thing right there. That can go there. Oh, we actually have some... Thrill Seeker. Not surprising since this is the road down to the T-Rexes. Need a little something for everyone. I guess we could go leisure wear. Entertainer, aquarium, and something for the thrill seekers. Maybe a photo booth. I think that'll do it. Delivery has been completed. I like how the Invisible Man builds everything. Yes. RimWorld was a slideshow for a bit. Yeah, it really was. Honestly, though, Tagarung, by the way, it's good to see you, Tagarung. I hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know that the beefier PC would handle the reign of 10,000 chipmunks all that much better. I suspect that was a RAM issue, and while the RAM I've got now is a newer generation of technology and therefore significantly faster than my old PC RAM, I still have the same amount of RAM. I suppose I could go and put new RAM on the throne gifts thing. I'll have to look into that. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, good. Oh, and now the Dilos are dying. It really is like a death wave. How many Dilos do we have? Okay, we don't need more of those quite yet. Ah, crap. What? Another Velociraptor? I remember when 1k of RAM was a really big deal. Hell, there was a time when I was a big, big Amiga enthusiast and I had an Amiga 500. And my parents got me an upgrade so that I would have an entire megabyte of RAM in my computer. And people laughed at me. They were like, you're never going to need that much memory. What are you doing? Why? One whole megabyte. It doubled the amount of memory in the computer from its default of half a meg. Oh, that's cool, Tagaron. You're Robin buddies. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. The amenities and the attractions are doing their job. We're starting to get almost up to five stars. Let's maybe see if we can do another guest attraction. I want to do a fossil zone this time. We're going to do the fossil zone and we're going to see how that bumps up our rating. Just gonna... Right there. Actually, this one can go middle. That's... No, we want the large planter and trees. There we go. First PC was an IBM 8080 XT with two 5.25 floppy drives and CGA graphics. Wow. Hey! 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 We did it. We didn't get to see the fossil zone, though. Damn it. Okay, well... Oh, there we go. But we're done. We can move on. We can do it. We can do the thing. We can go to the Lost World. I thought we were going to get this finished off within the first hour. And honestly, I probably could have, but I did all that research that it turns out I really didn't need to do. 25 bucks? Holy crap, Warthog. That's really amazing. My first computer was the Amiga 500. The first computer I had growing up with the family and everything, uh, my parents and my brother, we had a Commodore VIC-20. And then we got a C64. And then I had a couple of Amigas. I had the Amiga 500. That was the first computer that I ever owned myself. And then I upgraded from that to the Amiga 1200. And then after that, I started going PC, and I've been PC ever since. Fossil Zone looks really cool, actually. I like that. I wish you could see further inside, but that's still really neat. I like it. Five desktops and three laptops? Damn. I've got a lot of old laptops. Most of them don't actually work anymore. I just kind of keep them around for reasons. Um, but I tend to upgrade my desktops... This next computer that I build is going to be the first time in quite some time that I'll have a real viable second working desktop computer. In quite some time. Alright, let's save this and we're going to move on from Jurassic Park and go into the second film. You build computers? Yeah. I do it in service of my computing hobby, not as a hobby in and of itself. Okay. Jurassic... Wait, Jurassic Park San Diego. Oh, I see. So this is part of the Lost World. We're just doing Jurassic Park San Diego. Then we go to Isla Sorna Site B then Jurassic World, and then Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay. Let's go to San Diego and see how fun that's going to be. Rebuild what was once meant to be Jurassic Park San Diego. Originally abandoned by John Hammond for his grander vision of Jurassic Park, Injun are back with plans for a park set to entertain the masses. What could possibly go wrong? Everyone was so caught up in the moment, so impressed with what they'd accomplished. And then, chaos. A few years later, the dinosaurs made their presence known again at an island called Site B. Here was where InGen had cloned most of the dinosaurs that would eventually be transported to Jurassic Park. It was supposed to be secret, if not for human curiosity, it might have remained one. Peter Ludlow was now in charge of InGen, tasked with bringing his uncle's vision to life. 
John Hammond had wanted his precious animals to belong to the world. John sent a team to document the dinosaurs. What we found, to our amazement, was how quickly the dinosaurs had adapted. They had made the island their own. Ludlow had the investors. He had secured a location, but he still needed dinosaurs, and now he knew where to get them. What if chaos yielded a different outcome? What if Ludlow's mission was successful and Jurassic Park San Diego had become a reality? I love these intros they do. They're so good. And that scene of the little girl on the beach with the little compie standing right in front of her, that is directly out of the first Jurassic Park book. Or sorry, no. The Lost, uh, the second that one, The Lost quite, World. Um, unimpressive. Say, how long ago was this place abandoned by InGen? Oh, years. After the, the incident at our first site. We listen to the concerns, Doctor. That's why Jurassic Park San Diego was put on hold. Hold? Right. But not cancelled, uh, Mr. Mr. Thompson. I believe in the work. You know, that's why I'm here. Yeah, and I'm here because I believe that I can advise you on how to avoid mistakes made previously. Understood. I know I can realize the original vision for this park. I admire your confidence. <laughs> I've seen it before. Mm hmm. Okay, then. So, what are we working with? Listen to the mission briefing. Welcome to San Diego, Dr. Malcolm. My name's Lily Halford. I'm in charge of operations, and I must say it's absolutely fantastic that you're here. Mr. Thompson wasn't sure you'd say yes. Well, Mr. Thompson doesn't understand chaos or alimony payments. But, you know, he'll, uh, he'll learn, as you will, Lily. It, uh, it comes with the territory, I suppose. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, I think. Well, as you can see, at the moment, the entire facility is a bit of a mess. Yeah, I saw it from the air. Looks uh, even worse from the ground. Okay, well. Everything has to start somewhere, even when it's starting over. So why don't we begin with the construction of a response facility and take it from there? It was in the movie as well. I guess it's been a while since I watched it. I don't remember that at all. So what are we working with here? Control Center 1. It does look a little bit dilapidated. Science Center. Also a little dilapidated. Amphitheater. Provides dinosaur visibility for park guests. Dinosaurs only appeal to guests if they have been recently visible. Okay, then we've got some partial enclosures that need completion. Viewing gallery. So the problem is I'm going to want to make things symmetrical, and that's going to be difficult to recreate with the tools they give you. Let's see. Oh, you have to research everything again? Jeez. Okay, well, that's why they want the response center, then. I guess we're putting that over here. And we probably need some power. Rich family and the yacht pull up to the island for a picnic so this little girl runs off and finds the little guys. Yeah, the story was a little bit different in the book version. 
but very similar otherwise. Okay. So I thought we'd get the buildings repaired. buff out it's fine i once had someone say that determination is power and i like that but let's flip it around together we are determined to power everything with actual power how does that sound it'll never work actual power please what are the odds of that Construction has been upgraded to a crane. Well, the buildings are not leaking magic smoke anymore. That's a plus. Let's get some research. Do we have science? Insufficient skill. I don't suppose we can build... Medical. Okay, we can actually do it. Yeah, the science center is powered. I just want to improve my power grid if I can before I go building all kinds of wires everywhere. So do we seriously just leave the amphitheater open like this? That doesn't seem very safe. skill. Okay, so we're going to have to build a staff center. And that's not going to fit in there. Uh, okay, well. I guess I'm going to need another generator. <laughs> 
crispy. That's terrible. How dare you? Let's get some more folk. We, let's see, what do we need? I mean, aside from the obvious everything. Sarah O'Neill is our go-to for logistics. She's good for expeditions, too. Who do we actually have right now, though? Both of these guys do cheaper research. That's real good. And they're pretty good all-arounders. She's got one logistics, two science, and one wellness. Two wellness, two logistics, and one science. So... Hmm... Oh, I just realized we have fairly limited funds. We had a lot more money at the start of the first scenario, so I guess you gotta be a little careful. Oh, this guy. Look at this. He's our potential vet there. Welfare specialist. We're gonna go with her. So that gives us a big logistics boost. Now we need somebody that's going to focus on genetics. There really isn't anyone, unfortunately. Looks like two is about as good as we're going to get. So if we look at the upper range, Mr. Anthony Tanner has a potential for seven. So we might go with him. I'm in the wrong line of work, I know, Haggis. You gotta get yourself trained up to be a dinosaur wrangler. Okay, so we need five gears. That's gonna be those two. It's going pretty good, Crispy. How are you doing this evening? We finally finished the Chaos Theory mode of rebuilding Jurassic Park and seeing if we could do it more successfully, which we did. Now we're in San Diego trying to answer the what-if question, what if plans for Jurassic Park San Diego had actually gone ahead? So we're having to refurbish and restart up a site that InGen had you know, set aside for that purpose. Now, is that fence not complete? have this level of fencing. Yikes. Scary stuff. So we're gonna go there. And, oh. Not so fast there, buddies.
Struck. Oh, would you. Do you have to drive right there, buddy? Get out of here. Okay, so we have one successful enclosure. More or less. Okay, how we're done with the research. Okay, we can do the small power station now, which I think we'll do back here a little bit, which means we won't need, actually maybe we'll do it up here. Um... I should know the limits I'm working within. Oh, this is a very small site. Look at this. Wow. This is hopefully just going to be a very small park. I mean, I guess maybe eventually it might open up and let us go out here. It kind of looks like it's set up for that, but wow. And done. Research available. Alternative power distribution, which is exactly what I need. Insufficient skill. I don't know that I want to necessarily hire more scientists right now, though. Uh, okay, we've got power to the amphitheater. We need the viewing gallery. Exciting day. The first dinosaurs are arriving from what remains of our operation on Isla Sorna. Well, wait a minute. Isn't, isn't most of the original site destroyed? Destroyed, but not abandoned. The assets still belong to InGen, and we're going to leverage them here in our new park. We're starting with a herbivore. We want to make sure it's well cared for, obviously, so we'll be monitoring its welfare. <laughs> Hope for the best. Plan for the worst. No T-Rex. Make sure you can find the nearest exit. Yes. Very good advice. 
Okay, let's see. Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, so let's get our enclosure here set up. I'm going to expect it to require ground fiber. We'll, you know, tweak it around as well once we know for sure what it actually needs. So we'll get a bunch of ground fiber. We'll get some ground leaf. If it needs more than that, we'll get that set up as needed. Nope, nope. Ranger post. Capture team. Helicopter protection deployed. You remember this, Sketchy. If only landscaping was that easy in real life, tell me about it. Dinosaur delivery, Pachycephalosaurus, is being delivered to your park. Are you ready to transport it? Transit has commenced. Asset in transit. Asset transportation in progress. Oh, from a different streamer, gotcha, sketchy. Oh. It might be useful if we actually had a gate into the facility. Tutorials? What do you mean by tutorials, Sketchy? I don't think this game really had a whole lot of tutorial. It's really starting to feel like the park is coming together. I've already seen one come apart. <laughs> All of our safety precautions are in place, Dr. Malcolm. They have to be with the latest deliveries. We have a small carnivore arriving. And larger carnivores, too. Which are not any kind of cute, if you ask me. Well, knowing your history with a particular species, Mr. Thompson thought it best not to trouble you with the details. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen what a T-Rex can do. Uh, my, my therapist and I talk about it all the time. It's, a, it's an alpha predator, and now you're bringing it here. <laughs> no, no, we know what we're doing. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, and uh, here's the thing, Thompson. I know what you're doing as well. <laughs> I love the dialogue in these sequences, the cinematics. I am so glad they actually got Jeff Goldblum to come back and do his role again for this. It's so good.
Okay. Gonna need a ranger post. I won't bother with the feeding stuff until we know what we're dealing with. Oh, nope. Actually, I'll get Ranger 2. He'll handle both of these over here. Oh, God. They are bringing Compies and T-Rexes. Oh, right. Uh, huh. Still a good idea. Oh, we don't have a viewing platform here. Huh. Let's take care of that, shall we? So they have it kind of indented some. Like so. We're good. We're going to put these guys in with the T-Rex. We know from Jurassic Park that they work quite well together. And since we are going to have both of them... We're going to... Oh, shoot. Wait. We can't do the live feeder? Do we have to research that? Thirty-five seconds for T-Rex. We're get oh my god, wait a second. Wait, just- they're delivering a T-Rex? We have only level two security fences. And how are we supposed to keep a T-Rex in a pen this tiny? Did Thompson say, we know what we're doing? I'm starting to question that even more than I already was. What the heck? Oh my god, we're... Two of them. Not one. Two of them. Transit has commenced. Asset transportation in progress. It's the mechanism for safely delivering it. Also because gameplay. Commencing asset transit. Asset in transit. These species, the T Rex and the Compsognathus are central to our success at the park. They'll draw in the crowds. So now that they're here, let's ensure they're comfortable. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, the T-Rexes, they're gonna need forest. Uh, I don't know that we can do forest.
I'll try these and see if that works. It's not working. Skimming through the monster manual, checking out challenge ratings, was wondering what the highest one was. Completely forgot that the Tarasque was a thing. <laughs> That'd be a good guess. So, uh, Ranger team, you want to take a crack at status checking over there? Come. Now they went in the right one. I have them set to do both. And they were just checking that one first. Oop, oop, nope, nope. Missing open space. Sorry, man. I can't really do much for you there. Oh, crap. I may have to put them in a different enclosure. I may have to make a new enclosure out this way. Or back here. Or something. Because that is way too little space for two Tyrannosaurs. That's just not going to work. So I think I'm going to get set up for that. Oh, that's actually... The edge cuts off right there. I'm going to have to open this up and go back there, aren't I? Oof. Other side of the other pen, it's not all that much better. I could go back here. Use the amphitheater. I was actually thinking about that, Tigerong. I was... Yeah. I was thinking something along these lines.
Terrible pun or dad joke? We can do that. And hydrate too? I can do that as well. Okay, terrible pun. Okay. Okay. Why did the overweight man go to the local paint store? He heard it was the best place to get thinner. Hey, Romney, how's it going? It's good to see you. Now, if we're going to do this, what we're going to need is a feeder that's going to go right where the action's going to be. Now, it's kind of a shame we can't trap the goats in there, but oh well. No information is available on how the man used the thinner. Enjoy your lurk, Matt. Enjoy your lurk. Increase comfort to 90% for the following. Interesting that the compies aren't comfortable either. What do they need exactly? Oh, sand. Right, I forgot about that. Okay. Not so fast, sir. I have another task for you. Tranquilize the Rexies, please. Oh, is this one already down? It is. Yusuf, welcome. How's it going? Engineering, kinda. We're building Jurassic Park San Diego. Ranger stations. Um, let's see.
one here and one there ought to do it. I'll make Ranger Team 1 do this one. Need to head to bed, no worries, Tagarong. I looked at the time just now and I it it was actually time not found. Which is really weird. A minute ago it was 403. Uh, water for the T-Rex, you're right. That's probably a good idea. Oh, thank you, Tagarung. I'm so glad somebody actually got that. <laughs> Terrain can... Oh, I can't put the water in there? All right, fine. Okay, so they actually need sand as well. Interesting. Oh crap, I put the wrong buildings in. No wonder they're not finding prey. I thought I had put prey in, but I put carnivore feeders. Which you would think would be okay for a Tyrannosaur. But no. Where I work, there's two items commonly bought together, and the total is 404, and I snicker a little each time. Nice. Also, nice one, Haggis. I approve. Yeah, you. I could have moved the feeder things, it's true. Okay, so now it's only prey that they're missing, and that's just a matter of time. They will find the goats before too long. There are goats, right? Yep, 
There's goats. They're hiding in the Coliseum. That's funny. Oh, they're not in good shape. I'm gonna I'm gonna take control of this guy. I'm gonna see if I can lure a T-Rex in with the goats. Never mind that that's gonna trap the Jeep in there. That'll buff out. It's fine. Hello, big stompy lizard. Lizard. There you are. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, didn't go quite as well as I was hoping it was going to. They found it. They got tranked, but they found it. <laughs> Thank you, Warthog. There we go, perfect. Now, let's get our expensive researchers back to work. We're probably gonna wanna beef up our enclosures. Oh, we can't, why not? We have to have the park open. Maybe work on this one. Oh, does this mean I can open the park now? No, I can't. One of one, medium electrified fence, increase your park rating to 0.5 stars. We need the T-Rex to be comfortable. What is keeping the T-Rexes from being comfortable besides constantly being stuck with uh, hypodermic needles? Which are probably more like hypodermic javelins. Hey, Red Fox, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Ah, just a matter of time. Boom. Open the park. Welcome to the worst idea the world has ever experienced. We did it! This wouldn't have happened without you, Dr. Malcolm. Hey, I want it on record. Uh, 
I'm not in favor of this park's existence. But this was John Hammond's dream. Delayed, but not denied. Dr. Malcolm, this facility brings needed stability to InGen's operations. That's a win for us both. So it would appear. And the park is a unique opportunity for our guests. Or, uh, you know, for the hungry dinosaurs. Jurassic Park, San Diego. Isn't it something? It's oh, definitely it's something. Right. something. A living illusion. I don't know, Romney. As much as I hate licorice, I, I, I'm not sure that I can accept that. I'm not sure I can accept that at all. I think this is probably worse. As impressive as the park is, it can always be improved, specifically in the area of guest comfort. We need to get the numbers up. Who doesn't love a cold drink? And it's a good way to keep up our profits. Keep an eye on the drinks amenity and the money should flow. Ultimately, everyone is at the park for one reason, to see dinosaurs. This is the only place in the world they can, and they want to. That's why you need to increase our dinosaur visibility. Give our guests a view their eyes won't believe. Speaking of visibility, I forgot to put visibility stuffs in the T-Rex enclosure. That's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? But I have a plan for this. I'm going to... Just enclose off a little extra space here. Do you have a pen to release things into so they are funneled to LA? <laughs> Look at this, it's almost like I have experience building this stuff now. <laughs> Don't think so, Romney. It's hard to work up much of a sweat about a dinosaur named Pietnitsky, but the fierce carnivore Pietnitsky saurus, 14 feet long, 1,000 pounds, terrorized the plant eaters of Middle Jurassic South America, closely related to another early theropod, Megalosaurus. Pietnitsky saurus was distinguished by the crests on its head and its long, stiff tail, which it probably used for balance when chasing down prey. That's cool. I wonder if it might actually be in the game. There we go. That's better. It clearly partook of the same body plan as later bigger and more dangerous theropods like Allosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex. I did, Warthog. Uh, the fence in front of the viewing gallery was specifically so that the T-Rexes wouldn't escape while all this was being built. I think you see the wisdom of my plan at this point now, though. 
I am very familiar with the mighty Megalosaurus heavily featured in the TV show Dinosaurs. I believe that one is actually in the game. You have to consider that some paleontologists debate that some dinos are fake and are just smaller versions or larger versions of existing dinosaurs. Yeah, I know Triceratops is a big one for that. There are a lot of very, very similar looking crested dinosaurs with horns that are believed to be just uh, Triceratops at different stages of its life cycle. That maybe, you know, the horn, the, the crest or the frill thing that it gets develops holes later in its life and, you know, it changes its features extensively over the course of its lifestyle or life cycle. So, yeah, uh, I know that's that's a pretty big thing. Okay, so we got that. Can we do the drink amenity? We can. We can only do the small one, though. We should probably maybe do an emergency bunker, too. I'm going to put one right over here. And I'll put one right over here. And we're going to do two guest amenities for drinks. Here. Ginger beer is good. Hmm. Might not be able to get away with the fish tank. No, I think I have to leave it like that. You don't have to do better than nothing. And uh, we'll do... Oh, right. That one needs a path connection. This one will be geared more towards the casual crowd. There we go. that or it's just a regional mutation is that a different beast increase per minute profit from amenities okay we're losing money currently hopefully that will change increase guest comfort to 50% Dinosaur visibility is looking pretty good. Well, up here where the water is, unfortunately, it looks like it's not terribly visible. I might have to relocate the water source.
guest comfort, 8%. You know, we might need to work on some research to improve our amenities before we're going to have a lot of luck with profitability. We, and if that's the case, we don't have endless pools of cash to draw from, so we'd better do it fast. And I can't. I need 250 guests in my bark. Crap. Okay, so it's mostly... Oh, I'm already geared up for that. Is there a type? Nope. <laughs> Maybe I can just build more amenities and make them something other than drink. They might like a snack as well. go donuts we'll do the old fossil display we'll do the fish tank and we'll do selfie spot bathrooms oh hey bathroom what an idea who to thunk it? Turns out the T-Rex prefers gingers. Wow. Oop. Whoop. That's not what I want. Ah, improved amenities. Okay, we can't do that just yet. One of our guys is a little overworked and needs rest. Enriching and hilarious problem solving. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Research available. Wide path. Why are they going this way? What the heck?
Oh, hey. We're starting to get some profit from the amenities. That's pretty handy. Let's maybe try a shopping amenity. Action figures, obviously. Selfie spot. And fossil display. You start with 40 foot high toilets on a platform you can move with a crane. Wow. Okay, profits are coming in. No traits. Okay. So we're not exactly raking in the cash in giant handfuls yet, but we are profitable. That's a step in the right direction. We can help that a lot by getting better amenities. Can we train any of these guys up? Yes. No. Not yet. I wish the uh, T-Rexes spent more time in here. I wonder if maybe I can encourage that. My thinking here is maybe the goats will wander outside of this area less often, and if the T-Rexes want to eat, they will therefore wander in. Or they might just chase the jeep. Oh, 
Oddly enough, people don't actually seem to be going around here very often. They're kind of wandering down around here and over here into the buildings here. Why do I keep... What? No. Stop that. And they are going to the amphitheater. Fun. But they don't seem to like this viewing platform. You would think that would be the most popular platform. Where's the other one? How did they get lost in this enclosure? Hello? T-Rex? Oh, there you are. Trap a jeep in the amphitheater? That's kind of more or less what I had in mind. Damn goats keep running out. The downside of this big fence that I've just built in here is that if I have to get out in a hurry, though I can't imagine why I'd ever have to do that in an enclosure containing two giant T-Rexes, it's going to be difficult to actually steer the Jeep out. I really wish I could put the water source inside there, because that would guarantee that they have to go in there at some point.
All right, fine. Get back to your regular stuff. Gentle giants. Yep, that's the T-Rex, all right. Okay, we are long since done our extended amenity stuff. Let's see if we can reconfigure this at all. We can definitely replace the fish tank with a, an aquarium. And the fossil display with a skeleton display. So that should be much, much better. Mm, where? Ah, there. There we go. Perfect. Good. Was that it? I think that's all our amenities right now. Okay, we're sitting at 30,000 income in profit from the amenities. And we'll see what happens now. And we need to increase guest comfort to 50%. I don't suppose we can do a hotel. Ah, we can do a hotel. Well, uh, oh, I don't have space to build a hotel there. I can certainly build a hotel here. Not really my ideal location for a hotel, if we're being entirely honest. Uh, 26% right now. I think hotels will probably help that an awful lot. And we're going to need... Oh, yeah, I guess... Put a shelter there. They'll probably complain if there's not one right near the hotel. And a restroom as well. Oh, what the heck? Uh... Um... Two more dinosaurs are inbound, and I need the park ready for their delivery. Uh, require suitable enclosures and support. So there goes the, my uh, perfect what's the record. Addition to the menu, besides us. A few herbivores, simple to manage. There's nothing simple about managing dinosaurs. You're running the wrong way, folks. Uh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can't say we've never had. 
a breakout. Oh, crap. The fence is broken again. Oh, my God. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Make up your mind. Yeah, we might want to put a bit of a premium on that whole improving the fencing real fast. Only problem is I have no idea what prompted them to actually break out. Okay. Nope, Jeep door was optional. Acknowledging asset collection request. En route to pick up the asset. It's okay. The coast is clear. Only a few of you were eaten. Please ignore the blood stains. Uh, give me two minutes, please. We might be able to get away with putting them in here. Hopefully. Who are the guys that live here again? They like sauropods, ankylosauropods, stegosaurids, and they don't like Dr. Wu hybrids. Yeah, we're going to try putting them in here. Transportation underway. Asset being transported. It's like Indominus Rex Warthog Gaming. One of the dinosaurs that never existed in the history of Earth until we started tinkering with them and making new ones. God, <laughs> I, I, I can't take these guys. Okay, fine. We're going to take them. They're going to hate this. Asset has been collected. But we're going to put them there. I'm going to have to keep them temporarily. 
Oh, shoot. Now I need the hospital system. Uh, that's Expedition Center. We need a... Not a response facility. We have that. We need a paleomedical facility. <laughs> Not Mimasaurus. Injury treatment upgrades. They don't like sauropods and Indominus Rex. Hopefully they'll be okay here. Gen needs more samples, so... Oh, that's the Science Center. Where is... There we go. We're returning to traditional paleontology. A simpler time when the science was digging bones out of the ground instead of bringing them to life. I've given Ms. Halford the requirements. We've got to increase guest count. Of course. Oh, of course. And then build an expedition center so we can send out teams to get new genome samples, which will give us more species diversity. That's sensible, I guess. This should help our park rating, which we want to increase. Well, that's... Uh... Uh, ambitious. And that should lead to greater profits. <laughs> no, I can't keep the T-Rexes confined like that, because they'll just try to break out that much faster. Oh, I can't do that. We have to rest up our researcher. So predictable. See... You know, there's some patterns in the universe that defy the laws of chaos by being so obvious. And the so-called bottom line is one of the shining stars. That's what caused the original park to collapse, hubris and greed. Your concern is noted, Dr. Malcolm, but InGen needs to recover its losses. And this park is helping that cause. We've learned from our mistakes. I fear that what you've learned is that, uh, like a phoenix, InGen has risen from the ashes of disaster, which means you think you can do so again. Oh, crap. Uh, we don't have enough. Hang on. We have to hire somebody. We need a vet, basically. We need a specialist in medicine. So, two, 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 one. Two, oh, 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 Helen Davis. Look at that hefty seven. Welcome aboard.
Oh, just to move them? Nah, not really necessary. Um, oh, there you are. Hey, you need people to do the work if you want to make the money. Sometimes it takes money to make money. I just noticed that we're getting awfully close to 5 o'clock in the morning. I also just noticed that I've been standing for almost two hours. My feet are starting to get sore. So I think I'm going to lower the desk. And uh, we're going to see how... See how our new dino buddies over here are doing. It's Miss Oh, ground nut. Okay. I'm probably going to have to set up some more enclosures, I assume. Missing open space. Oh, it's so close, but yeah, this is just a little too small. Cohabitation actually seems fine, though, which is kind of nice. How about these guys? Missing open space. And they need tall leaf. Yeah, I think we have to set something up. Okay. We're going to need to do it, so we're going to do... Basically right here. Oh, uh, look at that. It's so close to perfect, but it just angles a little too close. I could, but I don't want to. I would rather just accommodate it. Now, the problem, of course, is this is not going to be any larger than that, so I'm going to need some way to make another larger enclosure. Because I don't think these guys are going to want to live with them. Confirming asset delivery. Okay. 
Okay, I don't think this is helping in the slightest. <laughs> I'm just gonna open that back up. Okay, what are we going to do about the Mamanchisaurus? I mean, I guess I could do a larger one over here. I think what we need... I need to start getting rid of these wires because they're in the way, in a big way. Insufficient skill, crap. Oh, uh, yeah, we've still got resting and treatment going on. Okay, so if we try that now that our resting is done... Six of nine. Crap. That good, Grainy, or just that out there? That's a series I just... I, I, I keep thinking maybe I should watch it, and I just can't make myself actually do it, so far, at least. Mia Chisholm looks like our best bet for genetics. Still insufficient skill. Oh my god. I guess we're gonna have to live with the power cables then. I think I went too far there. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of the impression I get, Haggis. It's just not something I'm really interested in consuming in any format, really. OK. 
Okay, we're going to put that there. Oh, you know what? There's an opportunity here. We'll just get rid of some of this. That there. There we are. Just put a little cutout right in there. Then we can design the environment around that in there. Put the water like that. And they're going to want tall leaf. Quite a bit of it. I guess it would probably help if I closed up the uh, cage over here as well. Oh. I can slowly begin working on upgrading the uh, Tyrannosaur pen. Although, it'd be more useful to upgrade it after I get it fully, you know, researched. Park rating went up a little bit. 72% increase on income. That's pretty good. Oh, hey, we are making more money again. I mean, I'm spending it pretty fast, too, but we are making money. Even if taxes would take... Yeah. There is that. So we have to increase from five to six species. We need to make 400,000 income per minute. 
and we need to increase any genome to 75%. So we really do need that expedition center pretty shortly then. All right, let's get our capture team chopper. Oh, that's it. That's like I was doing at the park, J.H. The genome is their genetic code. We have to get the fossils and get the amber, and we have to put together their genetic code up to at least 75% complete. There we go. Sounds reasonable, Warthog. Sounds reasonable to me. But you probably shouldn't listen to me. I'm not American, so... I don't really know. Oh, I know I forgot something. Okay, Expedition Center. And let's see. That neck bend looks so uncomfortable. That's what they're designed to do, though. Just wear your military uniform. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, where's our medical truck?
foot and mouth. Ensure dinosaurs have enough open space in their territory to cure this disease, causes health loss and eventual death. Uh, oh my god, do they still not have enough open space? Oh, they probably do. They just need to wander far enough to locate it. So how's it looking aside from that? They have tall leaf, they have water, they have enough room. They really just need to stop standing right there and they will get enough open space. Keep on going. A little further. Lack of amenities. Oh my god, are you serious? 59. Okay, it's improving. All right, guys, I would love to continue, but it's quarter after five in the morning. I never stream this far into the night. I really need to get going. I've got stuff I have to do tomorrow, so I'm going to overwrite our Jurassic Park stuff. Actually, no, I'm going to leave the Jurassic Park stuff. We're going to make a new new on stream San Diego save and we're going to see if we can find somebody to raid into the day now at sunrise it's not day until I wake up that's how this works oh hey I got a bunch of new uh, achievements today Engineer first class, reach logistics level 10 with a staff member. Hold on to your butts, complete Jurassic Park chaos theory. That's a lot of dinosaurs. Have at least 50 live dinosaurs on a single map. Very cool. The rarest of those is hold on to your butts. Apparently, not a huge number of players actually complete Jurassic Park chaos theory. Bespoke naivete. Wow. Let me get my list open of awesome people we can go follow. Who do we have online this evening? Looks like Laxative Legacy is playing some Dying Light to stay human. Slappy Jack is playing Elden Ring. T with Mandy is playing some Hollow Knight. Simcopter One is playing American Truck Simulator. And that's about it. So if any of those sound good, make sure you let me know. <laughs> you would have to be streaming when I end stream, Warthog. You would have to be streaming when I end stream. It doesn't sound like you stream at this time of day. I would have to know your stream pretty well, too. My mates are playing some D&D &D very much the consequences of their own action style game. Very cool. So let me see. Let me go over the list again real quick. We have Laxative Legacy playing Dying Light to Stay Human. We have Slappy Jack playing Elden Ring. Mandy with Hollow Knight. And Simcopter with American Truck Simulator. 
So if you have any preferences with regards to the streamer or the game that we go and raid, just let me know. And uh, I can't guarantee you that it will decide where we go, but it will certainly contribute to, you know, uh, influencing where we go. All right, if nobody is jumping in. I'm trying to decide. We just raided Mandy. Love, always love raiding Mandy. That doesn't mean we can't go back and raid her again. But we did just raid her. It's been a little bit since we visited Lax. And his Dying Light 2 Stay Human playthrough is pretty fun. There's also Slappy Jack. They're both on the lower end of the view count tonight. I think maybe we'll go with Lax. I think we'll go with Lax. He's the lowest of those that I listed off. So if you guys wouldn't mind joining in with the raid, it would be very appreciated. Let's go see how he's doing. I just have a little bit of a an ad to sit through here before I can see the status of his stream. But. We're going to go raid Lax to Legacy. Ah, it actually got his link correct. Sometimes what happens is, for some reason, I've never been able to figure out the bot will give my link instead. It doesn't make sense, but there you go. Here's the raid call. Ah, and he is actively playing at the moment, so that's cool. We'll go visit him, see how he's doing in Dying Light 2. Uh, here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the Heart Emote and the Wave Emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid Emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, you are always welcome to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. Just copy the raid message. Arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Lax's channel. He's been a good friend of this channel for a very, very long time now. Uh, he plays a lot of really cool games. He has an extremely laid-back, chilled-out kind of atmosphere in his stream, very much like mine. So if you enjoy my kind of content, or if you enjoy Greeny Trainee or uh, you know, Mandy or any of the others, you're really going to enjoy Lax as well. So let's get over there. Make sure you give him a follow if you're not already, and we'll see what he's up to. I will be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow is Sunday. So tomorrow is going to be Retro Sunday. We will be playing some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for our Retro Sunday uh, playthrough. And then I'll be back on Monday with, uh, what was Monday? It's Maker Monday. So we'll be playing some making games. We'll be doing some more Sand Rock, if I remember correctly. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get over to Lax's channel, see how he's doing. I will catch you guys over there. Thank you so much for making this a really relaxing and fun stream and for sticking around while I finished off the Chaos Theory mode of Jurassic Park. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. <laughs> Sorry, told dear. What? I have a bad feeling about this. I don't I'll skin you and make a curse for my wife! Katori's Museum. 
How you doing? Where the path oh, comes to life. Scrolled at the bottom in small yeah, text, it says the Church of the Light requires us to specify that yep. this is a metaphor. I don't even think I can do it, I don't. 